In this video, we're going to talk about creating branching and branching strategies when using your Azure DevOps server collection. So in the documentation for Azure DevOps server, there are some recommendations for branching strategies based on how you want to govern your project and work together as a team if applicable. And I recommend that you take a look at some of these different branching strategies. I would say, um, you know, the main only strategy, of course, isn't one, right? There's a lot of risk. But even though you might be developing in isolation where you're not working with other people, then it is a good practice to work with branches just simply to allow you to manage and um work on your project in a more structured manner. It also gets you a lot of practice for doing this once you start working together as a team. So mostly you want to use branches to accomplish some different goals. Maybe you want to manage your concurrent work that you have multiple teammates all working on the same code base. Everyone can have their own branch. So you have a lot less uh, room for error, basically, on stepping in each other. You can isolate risks introduced by maybe adding features or changes to the code base and kind of allows you to take snapshots that support subsequent isolated changes. So setting up this uh, area where you may have a test branch and a version branch, a dev branch, a release branch, maybe you have a QA branch. Right, so basically staging out those changes as they occur. So up to this point, we've only been working with folders in our DevOps server, but we take folders and we convert them into branches or we can branch from a project. And so I'm going to take my sample project that you see here and I'm going to create a branch. So I'm gonna right click on the sample project come over to branching and merging. And then you can see I have the option to branch. So this is gonna allow me to set up a new branch based off of my sample project. Maybe I wanna name it new feature. And I can branch from a particular change set or I can branch from the latest version or maybe the workspace version, which is the version I have downloaded on this computer right now. So I'm gonna go with the latest version, download it to my workspace, immediately convert it to a branch so that I can start using it. So when I click okay, a couple of things are gonna happen. So I now see this new folder sample project, I named it new feature. It's got the little, um, it kind of looks like a hammer <laughs> icon over here on the side. And my pending changes window has opened. So I have to check this in. Before I can use it. And so I'll check that in. And now we can see instead of folders, I now have these branch icons that I can use. And now branches and folders have different capabilities. And so if I wanna work on my new feature, I could come into my program.cs and I could work on it. So here's my new feature that I want to work with and I can check it into my branch. Got to make sure I save it. And now it's checked in. Now it's just checked in to the sample project new feature, 
it's not part of the original project. So if I go back to the original project and open that up, we can see that that looks different. So if everyone has their own branches, they can work again, kind of in their own isolation, but then when you're ready to kind of roll everything up to the main, we can merge those changes together. So in order to do that, I will right click on my new feature branch, go to branching and merging and choose to merge. And it will ask me, okay, my source branch, do I want all changes up to a specific version or just a selected change set? And then where am I targeting it? I'm targeting it back to the parent branch. And then up to which source branch should be merged, right? So latest version is what we're gonna use. And then we can finish and let that merge operation take place. And we'll check that in. Now, if we go to our parent project and in that folder, take a look at the parent project program CS, I can see those changes I merged in from my new feature branch. One of the other nice features of Azure DevOps Server when using branches is being able to visualize the branches that you have in your tree. So you can always right click on a project, go to branching and merging and look at the view hierarchy to be able to see how this branch might relate to other branches. You can also do some things like reparenting by moving a target branch, in this case, our new feature, to a different parent if we wanted to move it maybe down the hierarchy or um, into a different parent project. So there's a lot more that you can do with branching strategies and ways to use uh, different change set merges and branch hierarchies and things like that. But this is really the basics to help you as a student get started using branching in your Azure DevOps server. So I hope this has been helpful.